Hi everyone, welcome to your Pisces New Moon General Collective reading. So, of course, this is an all signs reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this is your story, I hope to see you down in the comments. And if not, you can always check my channel for other messages you need to hear. Of course, as always, please remember to give this video a like, share, subscribe, and turn up your notifications so you get YouTube's little memo when I post a video. So I hope you guys have been safe and well out in the Pisces streets. It has been crazy out in dreamland y'all I don't know how your dreams have been but are y'all okay because <laughs> some of the dreams I've been having recently have been overwhelming to say the least okay I actually spent the entire day yesterday cleansing everything and every corner of my home um and just releasing any stagnant, stuck energy to prepare for this new moon cycle, considering it is the last new moon before eclipse season gets started full throttle. So this is the time, y'all. It is the time to really focus on where you want to be when eclipse season ends. So we talk about co-creating with the universe, but eclipse season is a big huge chunk of that time where a lot of divinely guided and faded events begin to unfold. So that is a big reason why they say don't manifest during eclipse season because the energy is too chaotic and out of our control. We can we can work with that energy, right, by being open to what the universe is bringing to us, being open to whatever happens and working with that. Um but trying to push against that universal energy to manifest certain things, it's not really the best idea, okay? So those of you who like uh, uncontrolled chaos and you're like, screw it, I'm going to manifest anyway during that time, go for it, okay? If that is the way that you do things, if that is how um, things work for you, then always trust your own discernment, okay? I know there's a lot of people in the astrological community that say those type of things, and then there's others that say they love manifesting throughout the chaos. So whichever person you are, God fucking speed to you because <laughs> I have a feeling this energy is going to be very, very, very intense, especially now that we are officially in Mercury retrograde shadow period. Things are going to start to unfold in a way that is completely unexpected is what I'm hearing, okay? So maybe you might have had an idea of the way this this year was going to go, but I feel like the universe has specific plans in mind. So be open to that energy, um, but again, use this new moon to really get straight with how you want to to contribute to that, okay? So hopefully that's making sense. That is the message that's kind of coming to my mind, intuitively speaking. Um, as far as Pisces energy and new moons are concerned, you guys, Pisces is the dreamer of the zodiac, okay? The Delulu of the zodiac signs. So I feel like, again, now's your time to really focus on those dreams that you have, focus on the fantasy, focus on the vision, and keep holding that vision because I think that's what the universe wants. I think that's what we're being set up for. The universe is asking us to be our most delusional selves and manifest from our heart, okay? Manifest from that place of, of just, again, knowing that it is yours, knowing that you deserve it, knowing that the universe has your back no matter what season that we're in, okay? So if there is some sort of, oh, my heart's beating really fast as I'm talking about this, Whew. So what I'm hearing is if there is a dream in your heart, if there is a dream that you have been focusing on, now is truly the time to believe in it. Okay, This new moon is the time. So literally the Delulu is the Salulu in this circumstance. <laughs> so believe in your dream. Trust that everything is going to work out for you and your highest good. Um, 
because eclipse season is going to be very transformative is what I'm getting, okay? It's going to be very, very transformative and it's going to fast track you to where you need to be, especially if you've been doing the work. Obviously, those of you who have not been doing the work, then you gonna get dragged, okay? We talk about this all the time. So what I'm actually, um, what I'm actually picturing is an escalator next to a set of regular stairs, and it's showing like the difference between someone walking up the stairs versus letting the escalator take them. And I, I feel like eclipse season is the escalator, okay? Eclipse season is the escalator. It's going to fast track you where you need to go and you don't even have to do anything, okay? For those of you who have done the work, trust in that energy taking you where you need to go. For those of you who are getting dragged during eclipse season, I'm literally seeing someone's pants getting stuck in the escalator, you guys. So anyone out there who is trying to push against that energy or again who has some lessons to learn still things that really need to transform out of their lives there may be some endings and things happening for you during eclipse season that are faded and divinely guided so only you're gonna know which one you are but I'm definitely picking up on that transformative energy especially with uh, retrograde happening you guys so there could be past themes coming back around to close out and for some of you to explore finally is what I'm getting so Let's see what the cards have to say. I'm going to go ahead and start out with the Moonology Messages Oracle by Yasmin Boland, which honestly, I've been waiting for this deck for a long time. Finally acquired it. Y'all know I love my new moon and my full moon readings. Uh, I'm connected to that energy of the moon being a Cancer rising. So I think that's why these readings are more fun for me, but, um, but yeah, I always feel like the messages that come out in these readings are the best. So let's see what spirit wants to share. Okay. What are the messages we need to see in regards to this new moon in Pisces? All right, there they are. So the first card that I'm getting, let me put this to the side because I said there they are for a reason. There's several messages that the universe has for you guys today. So the first one though is transformation. Oh my gosh, were we not just talking about that transformative energy of eclipse season? So it says here moon magic, which obviously we that's what the new moons are about, magic, manifestation, calling in your dreams and your heart's desire. Um, and I love that this card is also giving like Hecate vibes. Um, we've got these two Doberman pinchers standing by her side. So I feel like that's what we were mentioning, co-creation, right? Working with the energy of the universe, getting fully focused. You see the flames coming from her hands. It's like there's a power burning inside of her that is being very much so supported, okay? So anything that needs to transform within eclipse season is going to be because of how focused you've been in the now during this new moon phase. So be Delulu if you need to, because obviously spirit is saying that you have the power to manifest magic at this time. And uh, for some of you guys, this could even be a death energy, something ending in your life around this new moon, uh, allowing you to be free, to be open to receiving what the universe has in store for you. Okay. We also have self-regulation exalted moon and I love how you guys <clears throat> I don't know about you I don't know if it's Pisces season and my inner mermaid girl is like desperate for water or something but I've been insanely thirsty these last few days um I love how this bull is in the middle of the desert it just made me think of that like my mouth started getting dry let me get a little sippy sip um, but yeah, self-regulation, right? I think this is a spirit's way of telling you, um, not to fight it, not to be stubborn or push against whatever is coming in for you. Uh, allow yourself to let it happen. Okay. I feel like this bull is, <laughs> 
you know what it's making me think of? Like, you know, when you like shine a laser and uh, you let the cat or the dog chase it or whatever, I feel like that's what this rainbow is doing. Like the bull is almost trying to catch the rainbow. Um, but maybe the rainbow kind of keeps moving. So, you know, obviously <laughs> y'all know how rainbows work. They're literally a, a reflection of light. Okay. Um, but like I was saying, I think the bull is, uh, it's like the universe telling you not to be stubborn when this comes in because the rainbow was always going to come shining through. Okay. And now I'm hearing that song, no matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true. So the rainbow was always going to come shining through. Okay. It always was, but this could be spirit reminding you of ways in which you have fought against that energy, okay? And this could be a, anything, a plethora of things, depending on your personal situation. And again, some of you could be watching this reading um, for someone else, all right? This could be what's happening with you or what's happening within someone else that you are connecting with, okay? And as I say someone else that you're connecting with, why am I getting the Yang Moon, <laughs> Like, this is definitely screaming divine masculine energy. I love how we have this moon that's barely crusted over the mountains and he's sitting right in front of it, trying to zen, trying to chill. But there's a portal behind the moon. This is what I was talking about. It's almost like someone has been very stubborn fighting against this new phase in their life or this new opportunity. Um, and they've been sort of stuffing their feelings down or trying to keep how they feel a secret. And they have been very strong, okay? The card says strength. So I do feel that we are tapping into a divine masculine energy. Again, we all have that energy within us. So this could still be a story about what's happening to you. But someone out there has been very strong, trying to control their emotions, trying to... Um, to prepare themselves possibly for some challenges because they know what the goal is. They know what the end game is, but there are obstacles in between. Okay. Now we've got this divine masculine energy sitting on top of the mountain. Um, it, it almost makes me feel like someone is coming to that crest of their journey where they're finally at that top of the mountaintop. They've already um, beaten the challenges, taken the journey, and now they're looking out on the horizon of what's below them. Okay, and it's time for them to be strong and know, okay, I'm only halfway there. Okay, um, I'm almost there. I'm hearing that song from Princess and the Frog. Almost there. So this person is almost there, yet they still have so far to go. This person has been holding back their emotions for a long, long time. Um, but I feel like it was necessary for them to get through what they needed to get through. They had to be strong and not let their emotions take over. Okay. We also have seek healing, healing moon. So it's not just about, you know, it's not just about getting through the challenges. It's also about healing, um, healing past traumas, healing generational sort of traumas and issues. So I feel like whoever it is that we're tapping into, they have done just that. Okay. There is going to be a healing period for this person where they are understanding everything they've gone through has had its purpose. Okay. Um, maybe it's been very difficult. Maybe they do need some time to nurse their wounds. I'm picturing the wounded warrior right now. So again, I think I'm tapping into someone who has been through quite a lot, who has had a lot of experiences and struggles in their life. And uh, they've been They've not just been holding back their emotions because they're some callous individual who doesn't want to feel anything. I think it's because they know that if they allow themselves to immerse in those emotions, that, again, they wouldn't be strong enough to get through what they needed to go through. Okay, so now is a time of healing and self-regulation. Um, so hopefully whoever this is, they've gone through all of this because the chess pieces needed to be moved where they needed to be moved. And that is the whole process of this pre-eclipse season energy. You know what I'm picturing now? I'm picturing Harry Potter when they were uh, doing the chess match or whatever and the chess pieces were magnetically moving on their own like they couldn't control it. Um that's the energy of the universe, okay? Playing chess with us little tiny humans, okay? So 
yes, that is what I'm picking up on, you guys. Like, the pieces needed to be moved first. The universe needed to play its role. This person needed to do the work. Um, and you needed to go through healing and transformation. So, that is all that I'm picking up on for this new moon in Pisces. Are there any other messages we need to see from this deck? You guys, what did I say before, too, as I'm looking at the rainbow, that retrograde season could be bringing someone or something back around from the past? Could definitely be the energy of reunion, okay? This person could have been fighting against that energy or avoiding it because there needed to be things that fell into place first. Um, but I'm almost feeling like there's nothing that this bull can do, <laughs> There's nothing that this bull can do to avoid the happy ending coming in. There's nothing that this bull can do to avoid the rainbow landing where it needs to land. It was always going to come shining through, okay? So the other messages I'm getting here are change your tune and avoid drama. Interesting. Moonlight serenade and moon madness. So... You guys, this is very symbolic for me as I'm looking at the stairs going into this portal. Notice that we have the Divine Masculine sitting here and the portal was behind them. Now it's time to actually walk through that portal. It's time to walk into the step. Oh gosh, I'm picturing the escalator and the stairs again, you guys. So it's time for them to walk up these little steps and dive off into the unknown. Okay, now it's time for the scary part, I think. Um... So I think also with the change your tune happening here, there is going to be someone who is going to change their mind about something or change the way they approach a certain situation. Okay, maybe there has been silence between you and this individual um, and now there's going to be like a, a 180 happening here. This person's going to come through and surprise you. I love how we have the tuba in the background with the moon just rising right over the tuba's um, opening, okay? And then she's playing a flute. It's giving divine masculine, divine feminine vibes here. So I feel almost like what Spirit is saying is this person may have been um, needing this time so that they can truly tap into their own divine feminine energy. And when they come forward, the way they communicate with you, it's going to be very unexpected, okay? And I do feel that this person is going to reveal... Um, some feelings that they've been holding back. Now, I think too, this could be a fear, um, wanting to avoid drama. You know, maybe someone out there is assuming that by revealing how they feel that there's going to be, um, some scary, you know, crazy, mad type situation. But I think that's just the whole concept of stepping into the unknown. You never know what's really going to happen or what's going to play out until you take those steps. So I think that this person's main goal is to avoid a dramatic scene. Um, this could even be, again, someone who has been in another sort of situation and they're changing their tune and moving on or moving forward, trying to avoid um, a big outburst or fight or something like that, okay? That was very specific, so hopefully someone resonated with that, but that's what I was getting. Anything else from this deck before we move into the tarot? Mm -hmm. So you have the day moon, love. Yeah, love conquers all. Love lifts us up where we belong. All you need is love, right? So I think, and, and you know what's also kind of ironic to me too, the fact that this is the day moon. We're talking about the moon. Typically the moon comes out at night, right? But when the moon reveals herself during the day, pretty little princess, Okay, it's it's like something out of the ordinary that happens essentially. So this changing your tune, it might be something very surprising, very revealing. Um, and again, I think someone is about to reveal their feelings um, because love does conquer all. Love is the most important thing. And when you move with the energy of love... You really cannot go wrong. And Pisces, again, maybe Pisces energy is is creating that 
or setting that stage for the opportunity to, again, be delusional and, and say what you need to say, express your feelings and, and just go for it, right? Finally, we have the yin moon accept help. So now we've got yin and yang popping up in this reading. So obviously this could be a divine counterpart story. Um, but accept help. We talked about this person connecting to their divine feminine energy. This person could definitely have connected with their guides. Okay. Um, maybe their guides have been trying to help them all along. And like I said, they've been avoiding that. And now they're learning this lesson of, wow, you know, I, I better just accept the help that I'm being given because if I'm not going to do that, then how am I ever going to live authentically? That's been a challenge over the last couple of months in the readings that I've been doing, the need to live authentically, the need to live in your truth. And so there could definitely be a scenario playing out during this new moon where someone has the opportunity to accept help, maybe even from a feminine in their life. Um, or again, you could be that feminine and trusting the journey moving forward, trusting that feeling of love, trusting that their dreams and fantasies have been pointing them in that direction for a reason. They're recognizing that those signs and synchronicities, that rainbow that's been trying to shine through, it's been for them. Okay. It's been for them. They've been avoiding it and acting like it's the plague. Okay. But the day moon is coming out now to highlight the masculine and feminine energy, the need to accept help, the need to be strong and the need to do both at the same time. Okay. So I think there is a balancing of masculine and feminine energy happening here with the Pisces new moon. And, you know, I think it's kind of ironic too, that we just had the Virgo full moon. Now the Pisces new moon, two weeks later, and this might be TMI, but this is going to be my second period. Okay, so I just had one with the full moon and now I'm having one again with the Pisces new moon. It's like all of the chess pieces are falling into place is what I'm hearing again. Everything is being aligned just so because things need to be that way in order for this transformation to occur, in order for us to be on that fast track to, for some of you, reunion, okay, uh, a balancing out of your energy, your dreams coming true, your ability to speak your truth, to show your true heart and feelings, okay? So, wow, that's a lot of uh, information. A lot of things are coming to my mind right now, and it's actually a little bit overwhelming. So just expect this new moon to be very revealing. Expect someone to come through um, after they've changed their tune, okay? So... Yeah, it's going to be very unexpected. You're not expecting this to happen. Some of you have given up on this rainbow, okay? You've given up on a happy ending with this person because they've avoided it for so long. Um, some of you, you've just assumed that this person was was always going to stay stoic and rigid and stuck in their limiting beliefs. But I feel that this person has finally tapped into their divine feminine energy, okay? So yeah, we've got the five of pentacles and the seven of wands. Someone's, someone is going to show up and fight their way back in. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like whoever is resonating with the energy of the five of pentacles, someone has been out in the cold for a long time, whether it's been you, whether it's been them, whether it's been both of you. But the seven of wands is someone fighting for what they believe in, taking a stand, defending what they know is right. Someone out there also has been very defensive because they've been fighting their way through life and struggling financially. They don't feel like they're like they have enough or that they're worth enough. So someone's self-worth has been down in the dumps. OK, and they've been fighting and struggling their way through the warrior energy with the five of pentacles like this person is scraping and scraping. OK, I just had deja vu. This person has been scraping and scraping. <laughs> and that's what triggered the deja vu. Scraping and scraping to get by. OK to make ends meet, to pull themselves out of a place of, of feeling low and, um, and badly about themselves. So this could also be the reason of, you know, again, 
trying to avoid feeling guilty, working really hard, fighting and scraping by in their life and focusing on their own problems and avoiding love altogether. What else do we need to see here? We're getting a story, y'all. Oh my God. Okay, so we've got the death energy coming up first. Transformation, endings, new beginnings, okay? Shutting away things that no longer resonate. Something is coming to an end in this person's life. Obviously, we started out the reading with the transformation card, so this is just more clarity on that. Um, there is a transformation that is going to be happening with this new moon, but I feel like it's because whoever this is has been avoiding, once again, they've been avoiding communication. They've been avoiding making a decision or moving things forward. They've been hiding from it. I see this as like the ostrich energy, someone who thinks that they're hiding, but really it's totally obvious what they're trying to do, okay? They're avoiding it because they're afraid. They're avoiding it because it makes them anxious and nervous because they don't want any drama. So this person has been trying to stay neutral. They've been trying to keep away from it, not involve themselves with it, okay? But that is all changing because the energy of the lovers and the eight of wands is coming up right behind it. So you guys, I feel like <sighs> deep down, whoever this is, they know that they're being pulled and pushed and pulled and prodded and dragged towards this person, okay? And I say this person, this could be you, right? This is a divinely guided connection. It's choosing love. So I think after scraping and scraping and avoiding and, and fighting against this connection, being stubborn as hell, Whoever this is, is finally allowing the death energy to come and sweep through their life and purge and get rid of anything that is keeping them in that mode. This person is tired of hiding because they know the energy of the lovers is here. They know that it was divinely guided. They know that it's true. And no matter how hard they try to fight against it or put up their defenses... It's almost like the universe, the more they fought against it, and I'm picturing like, I'm picturing a dog digging a hole in the mud. <laughs> like No matter how hard they dug, no matter how hard and deep they tried to dig that hole so that they could hide in, it was like the universe kept putting them in that five of pentacles energy, okay? The universe kept showing them that... It's not worth anything if you're avoiding love, okay? If you're avoiding your, your destiny, if you're avoiding where your guides, your angels have been showing you, have been leading you, and you want to fight against it, well, then you're going to keep staying right here in the five of pentacles. You're always going to feel left out in the cold because you put yourself there, okay? Whoever this is, they put themselves out in the cold. They decided how this was going to go. They decided they didn't want to explore the possibilities, okay? And I'm looking at this accept help thing. You know, if you're a divine feminine, you're connecting to this message. It's almost like you tried to help this masculine in the past, you were maybe hoping that they would fight for this and they didn't, okay? They didn't. They instead were focused on the material things which caused lack in their life, okay? Whatever they, whatever they built for themselves, whatever they surrounded themselves with, whatever they used to distract themselves from this lover's energy, it just made them feel worse and worse and worse. Okay, this person needed to find their worth and they needed to recognize that the energy of love was going to come shining through regardless, like this rainbow we talked about. Okay, with the eight of wands coming up with the lover's energy, I feel like this new moon is going to push this person into taking action because they know deep down, look how lonely she looks too. And all the arrow, the, the wands are coming at her. It's almost like this person has been causing themselves tension and pain. By trying to avoid what they've already known to be true from day one, which is that there was an instant connection. There was love at first sight for some of you. 
Cupid sliding the arrows through the booty cheeks. Shish kebab in that ass, okay? So this person is going to be pushed into taking action because they feel that that momentum building. No matter how they tried to avoid it or fight it or def defend themselves, put up their walls, whatever, you can't stop the feeling, okay? <laughs> can't stop the feeling like that is what's happening for this person they can't stop what they're feeling the pisces new moon is revealing that to them okay oh god look at that can't stop the feeling with that king of cups can we so this could definitely be someone recognizing what I said before. Love is a many splendored thing. It lifts us up where we belong. All you need is love. Love is the most important thing in the world. Like all of those things are coming to mind. This person has gained emotional intelligence through this situation because they tried to fight against their heart's desire. And as they did that, the desire grew stronger. It grew deeper. Okay, and so this person is recognizing, wow, I've really been holding back. I've really been screwing myself out of an opportunity for true, genuine, authentic love. The King of Cups, they hold back because they're wise, okay, because they're wiser than to just share their cup of love with any old body out in these streets. They're not going to chase love either. But they are emotionally intelligent enough to understand the depth of love and what it really means. So I think this person is having the feelings during this new moon, okay? They're recognizing that there is a need to express themselves emotionally. With the Page of Swords, though, I don't know. It's like this person has been watching and waiting and living in the shadows, living in the sidelines of their own life letting opportunities for love pass them by. I think this person, whoever they are, they've been really paying attention to you. And here we go back to the divine counterpart storyline. This person has been paying attention to you and the help that you offered them was just you being you, okay? The help you've offered this person that they're finally accepting is following your lead, okay? trusting that the light that you have that's been guiding them on their journey it's not to be avoided or ignored it's to be trusted okay stop avoiding the rainbow allow it to come okay that's what this person is learning through this new moon energy they're they're learning that the universe has been trying to bless them all this time by putting by putting the opportunity in their hands they've been blessed by avoiding the opportunity, they've been stuck in this Five of Pentacles energy. So this person is finally recognizing that they've been sabotaging their opportunity to be in union, to have a true love situation here, okay? To have this rainbow shining through, to have divine masculine and feminine working together as a team. So expect this person to change their tune this new moon. y'all not the card explosion so yep temperance and the eight of cups so someone here has been very patient trusting in divine timing trusting that everything's going to work out for the best eight of cups did come up in the reverse though and so maybe that could be again you if you feel that's you in your journey you've been waiting for this person to walk away from something or someone but they've been delaying that process passing up on an opportunity for a true two of cups. You know, I like this deck too because we've got the cups separated differently here. There's a five of cups, there's a three of cups, and then the ace of cups is over here on top of the mountain. We were just talking about how the divine masculine was coming to that conclusion as they got to the top of the mountain and they're looking down below. They're realizing that this opportunity for love has been waiting for them. They just needed to get through the challenge of these two energies first, right? So there could have been a third party situation. There could have been a long period of time where this person was so focused on the past um, 
you know, again, causing them to miss you, causing them to feel regret, causing them to really take a look at themselves and really building this desire to to have trust and friendship, to have something real, okay? And that's where it starts. This person may have realized that trust and friendship is, is something foreign to them at this point. They may not have anyone that they can count on truly in this life, which is why we saw that Five of Pentacles energy. They've been scraping and scraping, okay? Um, so I think whoever this is, they've been avoiding ending something. And I think you, the viewer, if you're looking at this person as an outsider to your story, then I think you have been so fucking patient. You have been waiting. You have. You've been trusting that no matter what's been going on, no matter how long it's taking this other person, you've been trusting deep within that the universe has guided you in this direction or towards this person for a reason, okay? So it's all about trust and divine timing. So the other cards that came out as well, I told you there was a lot. We had the Five of Swords. So I do feel too that for those of you connecting to this part of the story, to the card explosion, that you have also felt like this person kind of left you in the dust, okay? Went off to do whatever served them and, and kind of left you feeling in the unknown, okay? Maybe very confused, maybe feeling betrayed or stabbed in the back, um, feeling like gaslighted in a sense, like, man, was I crazy? I thought that me and this person had something. And then all of a sudden, you know, I realize, okay, this person is actually going off and doing their own thing and leaving me behind as if I don't matter. Okay. So that could definitely be some feelings that have arisen based on this person's, uh, actions towards you. But then with the Hierophant and the Nine of Wands, didn't I say before I was feeling the Wounded Warrior energy? I think the reason why is because this person was definitely connected um, to someone else. They could have been married or in a committed relationship. And that relationship itself was the burden. Okay, This person went through a lot, learned a lot, and also learned how to be guarded and put up their walls because of this connection. So when you popped up on the scene, again, that's that was just fight or flight mode for them, okay? They put up their walls. They they tried to fight against it because they were still dealing with this situation, okay? That situation still hadn't come to an end. So I do feel that, once again, those of you who are connecting to this story could be very specific at this point in time. Um, this might just be a story for one person out there. But again, when I get the card explosion, it's like almost impossible to avoid it. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, we need to see what's going on up in here. So let's find out some more. We got three more cards that fell out with those other cards. Yeah, so you guys, uh, <laughs> we got the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so that definitely could be spirit confirming that this um, this marriage or this committed connection definitely involved a karmic partner, someone who could have been very um, manipulative and just in general, I feel like I'm hearing like mentally abusive. Okay, so yeah, you know, this person has been mentally abused and confused and this person again, it's like they couldn't really do anything about that. They had to keep scraping and scraping by. Now, the five of pentacles coming up at the beginning, this could also be a sign that this person has ended that situation because I always do see that as a division of assets. This person could have been scraping and scraping by because they had to end this situation and that was going to leave them in a place of poverty or financial struggle. Okay, so the Queen of Swords in reverse, confirming the karmic partner energy. But now we've got the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. So this person deep within, they've been feeling this soul connection. They've been feeling this pull. Okay, they know that they miss the connection that they had with you. They know that there's unfinished business there. They have this desire to reconcile or reunite. And uh, their memories of you, it's making them feel nostalgic, okay? And again, I'm hearing like Cupid shish kebab that ass. So this person definitely has love and also a soul connection for you and with you. Um, the Knight of Cups, though, I feel like this person, their desire is to come forward and reveal what's on their heart. I think there is still some fear there. I feel like this person, you know, it's obvious to others that this person has feelings for someone, okay? Maybe it's even obvious that it's you. 
But the Knight of Cups is someone like a Romeo, someone who spouts sonnets, someone who comes forward and makes it obvious, makes it known that they have feelings, okay? That they're in love, that they care very deeply. So we have this progression of the Knight of Cups from that um, King of Cups we saw before. So in the now, I feel like that's what's happening. This person is going to be moving forward even though the energy of the king of cups is here in the reading there's still that fear okay so i think this person is going to come forward because they're not going to let this opportunity pass them by okay they are accepting help now from the universe they're following what they know to be true and they're no longer avoiding it um, and they're having some major revelations during this new moon that are making it very obvious to them what needs to happen next okay so Knight of Cups is positive. I feel like that's what's going to happen. They're going to come forward. Um, we also have the Hanged Man and the Page of Wands. So here's the thing. This is a message for someone out there where this situation still is not over, okay? If this person is still entangled with a karmic partner or there's a karmic energy in the mix, this is a message for, for those of you like I saw before with the Hanged Man pants getting stuck in the escalator okay so there could be a, a moving forward of energy but things are still not completely closed out with that other cycle and I say that because the page of wands can sometimes be like a passionate affair or moving things forward passionately um, taking a risk being curious exploring options things like that so I think that for someone out there this person is still sort of connected to something else or they may have a lesson they need to learn learn first. So the universe is going to kind of keep them stuck from taking that opportunity um, because things still need to be settled. Okay. That's what I'm getting. This deck is like literally explosive. There's so many cards that are trying to come out right now. The Five of Cups, which we saw before. Yeah, so there could definitely be a need to pause, okay? Or a feeling of being sort of stuck and waiting for things to be revealed, right? Now I'm feeling that energy of eclipse season again. So going along with what I said, if you are the person that I'm connecting to out there where this person still has something that needs to be completely ended, this is... This revelation of love in their heart for you, this revelation of needing to come forward, um, of needing to balance the scales, of needing to reunite and reconcile and take the opportunity for real love, that's going to be weighing heavily on their heart this entire time. So if there's a delay from them actually being able to fully take action on this, it's going to cause them to miss you very deeply and also to be focused on the energy of the two of cups, the possibility of coming together in a balanced and sacred energy, okay, where the feelings, the respect is mutual. There's a desire in this person. That is their dream. That, that's what I'm feeling. Their dream is the two of cups and they've been wanting to take action on it for a while. Um, but again, I think that hanged man energy popping up is spirit's way of saying not just yet okay there's still something that you need to see okay so this could be this the universe telling this person you want to take action in this direction but what you need to do is take action over here first and create endings where they need to be created otherwise you're just going to live a life full of regret full of shame full of remorse always dreaming and always reaching for that two of cups that you will never have if you don't take action Okay, that is what I'm getting. Yeah, because that's what's on the other side. The rainbow shining through, the Ten of Cups. This is the opportunity. This is the possibility. This is what the universe is presenting and saying, this is what you could have. This belongs to you. This is something you deserve. This is what you came here for. But if you've been stubbornly fighting against it, avoiding it, pretending like it's not real, okay? Staying stuck in situations with karmic energies that literally don't even care about you or your well-being. 
um, then that's what's going to happen. The universe is going to keep you stuck there until you take action. Okay. And I say you, obviously we could be talking about this person, right? So high priestess at the bottom of the deck, divine feminine energy, the knowing, okay, knowing the answers, knowing what needs to happen, knowing what is going to transpire, but keeping it to themselves. So this could also be um, a symbol of hope, right? Talking about accepting help from their divine feminine energy. Um, so this person could definitely be keeping to themselves to not disrupt the status quo of that other situation, making a secret plan. Um yeah, what's the outcome here for that situation? The Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, I feel like this person has a goal in mind, right? They have a plan. They have a path that they know they want to follow, um, but they're taking their time, okay? This is Earth Energy, someone who is stable and secure. Um, but again, all knights have that fear behind them, the fear of investing in the wrong thing, the fear of not getting it right, okay? I'm hearing like of it not being perfect, okay? So someone out there could be a perfectionist, um, taking their time so they don't make any mistakes. But also I feel like this person is, you see how the knight is riding away from the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords? I feel like this person is secretively investing in their life and what they want to do and what direction they want to take this situation. So I think, you know, maybe they are still sort of holding on to that situation for whatever reason, uh, maybe out of fear. Uh, but I think deep down this person knows that they have already invested in the wrong thing and now it's going to take them twice as long to go the other direction and form, um, stability and trust. Okay. So Let's clarify that Knight of Pentacles. Either way, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, whoever this is, their goal is to reveal how they feel and to come forward and make an offer of stability, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, okay. So speaking of stability, okay? We have the three of wands. So I think this person has been manifesting this behind the scenes all along. Their soul has, okay? And there just needed to be that alignment of this person taking that action, not just waiting for things to come, not just waiting for everything to align, but being that last wand in the mix and creating stability and union by taking action, okay? They were the missing piece, but they allowed themselves to stay stuck in their head, okay? They created a, a mental prison for themselves where they were stuck and they couldn't do anything about their situation, okay? And look at the way that she's, it's almost like she's saying, woe is me. Like this person was in a victim mentality, okay? Like, oh, I'm just a poor victim of my circumstances and there's nothing I can do wrong. There's everything you can do and there's nothing stopping you. That's what this person is realizing, okay? That they've wasted so much time sabotaging themselves and sabotaging true union, happiness, harmony from happening because they were like, oh, but mm, mm, I don't like that energy. Okay. I think this person deep down, they've always known what they needed to do. And they've just been in a state of avoidance with the four of pentacles. I think it definitely has to do with finances. I think this person is like struggling to let go because, um, again, they don't want to land in that five of pentacles energy, but the more they scrape, the more they cling, the more they hold on to something that's not meant for them. Mm, what happens? What comes next? Oh, that's right. The five of pentacles. It's like I said before, there's no way to avoid sliding into that energy if you're clinging to what is not for you. Okay. The universe is going to make you sit in that energy <laughs> until you start fighting for what you really want. Okay. Until you start moving forward with your true heart's desire. And then finally, we have the page of cups. So I think this person also, like, they're very sorry for the time that they've wasted. Okay, that's what I'm getting. They're very sorry for the time that they've wasted. I think they're recognizing how immature that they've been. <clears throat> I mean, they've been, they've been stuffing that little fishy down into the cup, pretending like it's not there, like this connection isn't alive. And they, they have regrets for it. 
All right. So I think that this person underneath it all, what they've really truly desired is a fresh start, a new relationship. Okay. Something that is innocent and pure. But instead, they allowed themselves to fall into that immaturity aspect of the Page of Cups and hold back how they're feeling altogether. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So like also in the past, I think this person, um, the impression that they gave you was that they were just coming in to have a good time and they were going to ride off into the sunset with some karmic partner and leave you in the dust. I mean, I think this person is sorry for that, okay? And, and you can see she's offering the cup and he's holding up the wand. Like, I don't think this person even has a defense for their actions. I think they're embarrassed about how they treated you and the way that they behaved in the past. Because that's not really who they are. They just acted that way, okay? And I think that they did that because, again, the energy between the two of you was so strong. They couldn't help but moving forward. But after that initial move, I think what they did was they tried to stuff it all down. They tried to fight against it. They tried to deny it, tried to avoid it, tried to ignore it. Okay. So what else do we need to see? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> I love the woman at the gate. She's about to walk out. But the Ace of Pentacles is growing, um, sitting on top of this pile of stones. It's like the opportunity has always been there. And I feel if this person did come forward with the Ace of Pentacles, with a real offer, with a real genuine apology, it's like the seed isn't dead. The opportunity never died. It was always there. The rainbow was always going to come shining through. What it was going to take, though, is this person taking serious action and coming through in the physical, okay? Investing in an opportunity um, that they know could grow into the Ten of Cups. Instead of putting their energy and fighting and scraping by, being uh, in that Five of Pentacles energy with the Queen of Swords in reverse, um, stuck in a situation of traditional values, right? A, a marriage maybe of convenience or um, financial, <clears throat> financial status, okay? One more shuffle from this deck. What else do we need to see about this person's journey for the new moon in Pisces? The Ace of Swords. Yep, communication is coming, you guys. Because this person is getting major clarity from this new moon. They're recognizing, okay, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to say. Because it's been made explicitly clear. So, I love that. I feel that things are going, look at that. Things are going to start moving in a positive direction with the Wheel of Fortune because it's destiny, okay? It's destiny. This journey was destined and eclipse season is coming to remind this person of that. You know, I think that this new moon is so potent and powerful because once again, all the pieces need to be aligned so that we're prepared for eclipse season. When this transformation happens, it's going to be unbelievable, okay? We're not it's going to be something you never would have even expected is what I'm guessing. So, that's what I'm getting from the tarot. Let's see what challenges are ahead. Let's find out what spirit wants us to know. Oh my God, confession. So there could definitely be a challenging conversation that happens here with this new moon. Um, it looks like these two women are gossiping. So once again, we're talking about things being revealed. Um, we also have the full moon in Virgo coming up again, the achievement card that I got in that reading. So... <clears throat> like I said, I feel like the power of that moon and this moon are sort of working together. Like the energy of the Virgo full moon is carrying through. Um, and again, maybe these revelations have started a couple weeks ago and they're finally starting to trickle into that phase of really truly being in the spotlight, which I think is ironic since we're in the middle of a dark moon. Okay, so everything in the dark is going to come to light is what I'm getting. And that is the challenge. Okay, so um, I want one more card from this deck. Mm -hmm. We also have the fruit moon. Okay, water moon, commitment. The number five is on here. This is making me think of the five of cups again. Okay, changes are coming. 
this moon is going to make people emotional. It's going to make them really think about what they want to commit to. So again, that coming up as the challenge is very interesting. Okay. There could be a very serious conversation coming up around something that occurred during the full moon. Okay. A confession, a serious conversation, um, surrounding commitment. Okay. And, and whether or not they want to be in a committed connection even. So let's talk about this confession card. Okay. So Venus represents the choices that you make and Mercury signifies the mental processes and discussion. With the sign of Capricorn, these planets indicate serious and confidential discussion of emotional matters. If you draw this card, advice of some kind will be sought and answers provided. The black moon in this image signifies that there is something important that is as yet undisclosed. Although it has long been kept secret, the matter will be revealed by or to you very soon. This card often indicates a scandal. Oh my gosh. So the key phrase says a confidential conversation acting as agony ant. So you guys, even down to the synchronicity of the black moon being in this card. And I was just saying how this moon, even though we're in the dark moon, things are going to be revealed. Like I'm telling you, I, I also would expect this person that you're connecting with to reach out. Um, and there could be a difficult emotional conversation that takes place here. Okay. Um, but just because it's a challenge doesn't mean that it's a full blown stop. Okay. Sometimes we need to work through those challenges together. Uh, a challenging conversation could prove to be a solution in the end. Okay. So maybe for some of you out there going all the way back to the beginning of the reading, I was talking about how the Delulu is quite literally the Salulu here, you know, maybe in your mind, thinking about having such a difficult conversation or thinking about this person revealing their emotions, revealing what's been going on might seem like a far off fantasy to you. The universe is telling you to believe in that, okay? Believe in this person, believe in their ability to finally make it to the mountaintop and see clearly the opportunity of love that's been awaiting them all along, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple of cards here as Spirit's advice moving forward. What is Spirit's advice for the collective? Oh my. Oh my God, you guys. You guys. Uh, so listen. First and foremost, we have ice and mountain. We were just talking about this person getting to the top of the mountain, trusting their ability to see clearly for themselves. And we've got clarity as the key word. So maybe, again, this seems like a far off fantasy or dream for you that this person would finally see the light, but this carries the tower energy with it, with the number 16. So I do feel that this person is already there. Okay, they're getting there, this full moon, or excuse me, listen to me talking about the full moon, this new moon in Pisces, okay, ice and purity, you can see the, the horse racing through in the snow, maybe it's almost as if this connection has been frozen in time, like the pause button has been pressed, and now all of a sudden, with gusto, this person is pressing play and charging forward to come in and break the ice, okay? So believe in that. Trust in that, okay? Don't listen to this reading and think, oh, that's never going to happen. This person's never going to talk to me. Like, okay, well then it's not going to happen then because you said it, okay? It's not going to happen because you spoke that into existence. You want to believe that? Then that's what's going to happen, okay? Okay? I feel that spirit is telling you to believe in this person's ability to see the truth and come to their own conclusions. We also have here storms. So following up with that tower energy, cleansing. This person may be going through a tower moment this new moon where they're coming to these conclusions, where they're recognizing what needs to be done, possibly going through some sort of a storm. And maybe this happened during the full moon. 
okay? But something is being cleared out and cleansed from this person's energy. This could even be you, right? Cleansing your energy and releasing emotions during this new moon. I almost said full moon again. But what I'm really seeing with wildness and electricity, I'm thinking of that page of wands energy again. Like, Whoever this is, they can't deny that spark. They can't deny that electricity, okay? The electricity from the storm that's been brewing, okay? What it comes down to is the connection that they feel in their heart, in their soul. And they have no choice but to follow that at this point. Because what happens is they're recognizing that while this connection has been on pause, it's been just like this. Mountains, struggles, challenges, needing to see things clearly, okay? But once again, needing to take action. So I do feel this person is going to come in and break the ice, but I think spirit really is more so just telling you to trust in the process, especially if there has been any storms, symbolically speaking, for you, um, that to trust that energy of cleansing happening in your life, okay? That transformative energy of things shedding away, of, um, you know, no longer resonating with certain people, places, and things. Trust that because that electricity is guiding you forward in your life, not trying to keep you stuck, okay? So if there has been a long period of separation between you and this person, if you've been kind of um, on ice, so to speak, then spirit is saying there's a storm coming through to break that ice and it's going to be this person, okay? Because the electricity that they're feeling, the love that they're feeling, it can no longer be ignored. So expect communication, okay? For some of you, expect a difficult emotional conversation to happen. Um, but I do see this person coming through and deciding to invest in this situation and this rainbow that's going to shine through this reunion this reconciliation okay whatever it is for you only you will know um and again you guys thanks for joining me for this reading i know it was a lot coming through it was a little bit scattered here and there but again hopefully you resonated with the messages if you did don't forget to comment below um engage with the video like comment share subscribe all those things um, and of course, if you're wanting a personal reading with me, you can always check out the description box below. All of my details are there. Um, I will be launching my spring savings this week. So you will be able to get all of your readings, including emergency reads at 50% off. Um, other than that, guys, I love you so much. Stay tuned for some more March love readings coming your way. And I will see you soon. Bye.